Hi everyone, welcome to Film Dirt. I recently revisited a very good action film called Non-Stop. It stars Liam Neeson and he's done quite a few of these action films, very basic, very simple action films, all very similar. And um, they're all quite good, I think. <laughs> <laughs> if we're honest, they're all they're all decent quality. You know, there's I don't really recall seeing a, a real turkey unless I haven't seen it yet. I have to say this film was quite interesting, um, and it gripped me from start to finish. Really, it was a, a, a pretty decent thriller. So we've got Liam playing Bill Marks as uh, he's a U.S. Air Marshal, still with a vague. Uh, accent that you can't place whether it's American or or Irish or his native Irish should I say and that's I think that's the beauty of of Liam Neeson's acting I think I love the actor I think he's fantastic in in many films he does like I said earlier a lot of these action movies he's done they're all pretty good and he comes across as that that gruff tough guy i know he's a little bit older than than some other action stars but that's what what's so appealing about the character he brings kind of reminds me of clint eastwood I, not quite that rough and ready but you know he looks like he can take care of himself and he's a, definitely a tough guy you know when you see him in an action film you don't really want to mess with him and he, he doesn't look like you're typical good you know I, I dare to say good looking leading man type where it looks like he's never had a broken nose or never been in a fight Liam Neeson does look like he's been in a, a fight or two he probably hasn't for real but do you know what I mean he's got that that gruffness about him and I think that brings a lot to to his roles now this film takes place on a flight and it becomes apparent very early on that there's someone trying to exert money and there's a possible terrorist situation he's he's scanning the other passengers and it's dark and it's it's almost like that ASMR I think they call it um, I, I love flying personally and um, I enjoyed those periods early in this movie it, I think it's possibly the first half hour to almost an hour where the lights are off and you're just, you know, dozing off on a flight. I really enjoyed that. And, um, you know, you've you've got him like, being really suspicious of other passengers and, and trying to solve this riddle. It really did have me glued to the screen. And my wife liked it as well. She doesn't really do action movies like this. She likes things a little bit lighter. But she really got into this because... Well, I think it's because Liam Neeson is such a good actor and um, he's got a bit of charisma about him. I think it's it's the way he speaks. He's It's almost no nonsense, isn't it? So you've got a lot of the supporting cast here. A lot I haven't seen before. I did think I recognised a couple of faces from TV dramas. I did notice Scoot McNary uh, quite early on and... And uh, he's always good in whatever part he gets. And while the plane's up in the air, you're trying to solve the puzzle with with Liam. You know, you're thinking back at who gave him the wrong look earlier, who in, interacted with him. And Scoot McNary's character did. So you're thinking, is he the guilty one? Or maybe it's the flight attendant? and Or is it that guy that he pushed past? So none of these really stand out as being the obvious guilty party. And um, it's been a while since I've seen this movie. It came out in 2014. I think I did see it that same year. And I honestly forgot how how the story is resolved. And that's good because you can always enjoy it for the first time again. Hopefully, you know, you, you want to enjoy a lot of great movies for the first time again. So I was completely drawn in here because it was so well told. And like I said, a lot of the supporting characters are really good here. And a lot of the acting is great. Now, I had my suspicions on who the terrorist was quite early on. And I thought it was one of the flight attendants, um, the black lady who was 
apparently new to this role and and uh, the other flight attendant didn't really know her. So I thought automatically, I think she's the red herring, isn't she? <laughs> she was supposed to be the plant that's supposed to be the distraction for everyone. And she distracted me. I thought it was her. But as we all know, it wasn't. But the way there was a, a few really good twists and uh, we were led in one direction and another direction, it, it worked overall. Now, a lot of this obviously is very improbable. I can I can believe that there's a, a, a air marshal network that you can send text through, but a lot of the a lot of the aspects displayed here I think were just for the movie's sake, and I don't think there was a Let's say if you drill a hole through the toilet wall, I don't think you reach the cockpit. <laughs> that seems a bit improbable to me. If that's true, and anyone here is really knowledgeable of flying, please leave a comment below and tell me what you think. But I think all of this improbable stuff, you know, if it's well told, I think it's fantastic. I'm all for bending the rules of believability, and it's a movie. If it works and it's exciting, I think that's fantastic. And I, I do recommend this movie. You know, you can really throw it in a pile, if you like, of just another Liam Neeson action movie or a straight to, straight to streaming, straight to video. I don't think this one was straight to video. I think this one was a theatrical release. I, I can't be certain. But I remember I did see it back when it was released when there was posters everywhere but really this is one of the one of the better action films i've seen from from any action star so i like the the angle presented towards the end where liam's character bill he's the hijacker and that's mentioned a couple of times so the villain is turning the tables and and it's another misdirection isn't it where we've got the good guy apparently being perceived as as the uh, wrongdoer and you've got people live streaming the event and it's all painted to, ma to make Liam's actions look bad and I like that aspect again it seems really improbable but I was gripped I honestly was and I stand by my original recommendation I, I do recommend seeing this film I don't think it was that long it, it seemed to whiz by I think it was about it's over just over an hour and a half I think it was hour and 45 maybe and everything was was wound up very nicely and and they live happily ever after which is quite unusual for a film now you you got to have a cliffhanger not here no it all, it all ended uh, amicably <laughs> and we defeated the terrorists so what marks should we give this film for me four stars i think it it thoroughly deserves them and uh Again, highly recommended. So thank you for listening to my review of Non-Stop. And let me know in the comments below if you agree or disagree with my opinion of this movie. And I'll just leave you with a little bit about myself. I'm a completely unbiased reviewer. When I go and watch a movie, I'm not bought by any studio or, or even given a free ticket to watch it. So all my reviews are completely genuine. Thanks again. It was good speaking to you, and I'll see you again for another review soon. All the best. Take care.